Okay. Well, my great pleasure to have David Zariski back on the line. How are we doing today, David, of the band experience? I'm doing good. It seems like it's been a bit since I've been on one of your shows, so I'm glad to be back. Yeah, I know. I think, I'm thinking it might have been the great escape, probably, that we spoke about, the Steve McQueen, Whoa. which is decades, eons and beards ago. But good to have you on. Good to see you again, my friend. And Thanks, brother. We're, we're doing a, a little collection series uh, oh. of, you know, like a kind of 10 minutes in someone's collection. And of course, you're front of mind for this. And wow, I'm going to just get the ball rolling with you. What I wanted to see is some of the obscure moments. I mean, I think we all, we're all people that know you and your channel. We're, we're very well aware of some of the, the big haymakers. Um, but maybe you might have something back there that perhaps not everybody has seen. And I'm just going to shrink me a little bit and enlarge you a bit. All right. And what I'll do is I'm going to take you off this wonderful stalk. You're going to go dark for a little bit. This okay. is like really high tech because I want to put you... Um, Let's see if I can turn my camera around. That's gonna, that's that's gonna be the best. Of course, we should have rehearsed this. <laughs> you can change in post, right? There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right. So you can you can see all this, right? Nice. I've got it all. Yeah. All right. So the first thing I'll do is you know just mention to people who are uninitiated, each area has its own little devoted spot. So you've got Doctor No, mm -hmm. and what a lot of people see is they'll see like you said the big things, but they won't come on board and see the tiny things like the playing cards he uses, you oh. know, from the scene where he's sitting and, and waiting. Oh, uh, beautiful. The, the Le Cirque ambassador cards, for example. Nice. I mean, there's just the little light bulb that, you know, poor Coral gets hit with. Did you get anything was, from ambassadors when we went there that time? Oh, absolutely. I got their gym. Oh, you got the bag. I got the bag, a bunch of their cards, et cetera. Nice. I mean, I, I, what I find is, you know, it's great to see, for example, from Russia with Love, um, it's great to see the big attache case, but then it's these little hidden secrets like the gold doubloons, um, mm. the pictures that he might have used, <laughs> even the film, yeah. you know, Blofeld's little area. That's me posing with the actual screen used. Nice. Case. Couldn't be, um, uh, didn't want to shave your head for that one, though. I mean, I was tempted, don't get me wrong. <laughs> and then even with Goldfinger, we're in the celebration. Sure, we could look at a naked woman, mm -hmm. nice. but um, you know, we'd much rather look at all the multiples of props here. So a lot of times you don't get to get like really up close and personal, but you can see just the, the, the plethora of little oh, tiny nice. parts and pieces. And then you've got, look at this, you've got dueling hats. You've got the Lock & Co mm. licensed hat. Yes. Hold on a second. Oh, yes. And that's that's pretty new as but well, they, the ejector seat, right? Yeah, you got the lock and co. And then you got the factory entertainment. Ah, yeah. So you just done a review on that. So I've got to check that out. I've got to dial back one and see that. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. You got Thunderball. I know some people mm. think it's a, a slow film, but look at the amount of little props and oh, gadgets. Yeah. Where's even the stone down from? Like, what's that? Where's the stone from there, that little, that flat pebble? The stone is from the Bahamas, um, ah. where they actually did some of the filming. Ah, very nice. That's uh, that's to the bridge that Connery yeah. climbs up in. Oh, yeah, Thunderbolt. I've done that. I've done that. Yeah, yeah, I've got some stones. The most important part of my collection is the belly button lint. <laughs> okay. Very limited. No, it's a radioactive lint. <laughs> Love it. But that's he's so got cool. his sunglasses. And then as I swing forward, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in 10 minutes. All right. This is the continuation of the wall. And again, you're right. From far back here, it's all fine and good until you get up close and see the rockets, the caltrops, yes. the cigarette, uh, Irma Bunt's, uh, not Irma Bunt, what's her name? What's the name with the cigarette? Uh, the, uh, the other blush. redhead. Yeah. Oh, um, Luciana Polizio, the that one. No, that's that's Thunderball. Anyway. Oh, sorry. Oh, Herma, Herma, Herma Brandt. Something that's like it. That. That's yeah. it. And then check out all the crazy on Her Majesty's oh, Secret yeah. Service. Oh, I wish I got a load of that when I went there. That's so cool. That's like the snow globes and everything. Even the helmet. Oh, helmet. Where did you get the helmet from? Um, I actually got it from an auction. <laughs> But it's it's the correct helmet, uh, glasses from the film. Wow. I mean, so each cool. 
each area. I mean, as you can imagine, it's, you know, 25 movies. And just to look at the art is fine, but then you get close up and you... Oh, the watch. And the the watch. Yeah. The ring, even the correct ashtray that he uses in the film. I got the correct ashtray from the vintage area. My God. That is Playboy. pretty special. David, how much of this collection is growing and how much of, in terms of space? I mean, it looks so well curated that if you had to put something else on there, you might be budging something else off. Yeah, it's a good point. I mean, there are things that are, I'll say, are voted off the island because you know, you've got new spaces like No Time oh, to yeah. Die, um, which take up a huge space. I remember then when you, you and got... Joe Darlington went to get that um, point of sale cardboard cutout. You got the van and went down to the cinema. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah. I mean, things do get voted off the island, so to speak. Um, you know, some of the promotional things, like if I get a prop in mm. and I've got a big promotional item, the promotional item will go away to make room because props and wardrobe, things you would see in the movie itself, they always take precedence. Yeah. Look, perfect example is The Spy Who Loved Me. I mean, this has grown significantly in the last five years because I love the film. Mm. So you've got like the microfiche on the film. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've got rings, you've got the ski pole, love, you've got, you got Q's bag in the background there, the British Airways bag. Absolutely. And, and even, you know, Moonraker, like there's a, a little model there. That model will go away once you know some of the new factory entertainment moonraker stuff comes in yeah but yeah. I, a lot of my display the way i think and i by the way i do a hundred percent of my display i find it very relaxing it's like building a ship in the bottle what i try to do is try not to make it look too cluttered right. but to make it look approachable so people want to touch it mm. they want to experience it but then they see things from the film that they're like oh my gosh you know the picture of melina and isn't that her crossbow in the back and aren't those the uh you know, the binox, and isn't that the arrow that shoots Locke? And isn't that the, the stuffed parrot? parrot? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, octopusy. Like this, this one has grown significantly. Yeah. You tell me when we've hit the 10 minute mark, because I know you're. Oh, no, well, I'm, I'm going to make an allowance because this is, this is gold. And I haven't had the chance to see the collection for a while. Not, I've not seen it in person, but to give. I mean, even, the, even uh, Roger Moore, when he was sketching in the auction, I have the little booklet, <sighs> of course. What was the um, auction from? That wasn't the the Bonhams one, was it? Was that something else? Oh, so that's a replica that somebody uh -huh. made. Okay. Yeah. So most most of the old stuff is replicas. You don't really. Hello. Nice. You don't really get to. And by the way, that's the image. <laughs> so it actually moves, which is hilarious. <laughs> a beautiful piece that was made for me. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. And then you know, got to keep a good sense of humor about it. But yes, I do even have, and nobody sees this. A representation from Never Say Never Again. Oh. So I've got the guy's, you know, Afrin, yeah, his little yeah. inhaler, nice. the pen. That's pretty much it from that movie. I've, oh, your the... favorite hat. Oh, all right. Just I've got to I've got to tell the, the the viewers here something about that hat. So I saw this hat in a deleted see uh, a deleted image that came up i think from fundables and i was like i i then went down rabbit holes trying to find this hat online <laughs> and i think i'd sent it to you or i mentioned it on the show and then you sent a picture back of the hat and and that that was the joke that every time i seem to go down a wormhole you're like the knight's templar going knew you would come i'll find you at the bottom of every <laughs> rabbit hole <laughs> and, uh, but yeah that was brilliant so that's a, that's a fantastic hat i don't typically give timothy d a lot of love but i do have some nice representation here right um, even the you know the correct knife in the cocaine when he's oh. like clumping it underwater is that the screen used it's not no mm -hmm. but it's it's the correct ones you know I yeah try yeah to that's get... You know, exactly. try to do the research. You know, Remert is phenomenal. A bunch of people are phenomenal in getting the correct ones, like, you yeah. know, the lighter, like oh, the engraving. That. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, you got the engraving on it. That's brilliant. Oh, absolutely. Passports and watches and then very, very small representation. There's also here. a lot of really good color on this as well. I mean, I don't know if you think of color when you set out the stall in the presentation i actually do I, what i do so there's two things i think about representation from the movie i love all the color which is why i pretty much insisted to myself the poster art but then even like putting like the medical supply thing that he has 
I wanted it to be like almost like this would be representative of how it's found in the environment, like maybe Q Branch brought it back, et cetera. Yeah. Um, my nice little watch area. So let's continue. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going way over, way over the 10 minutes. No, no, that's um, all good. So as you can sit down here, I've got a lot of seating. Uh -huh. uh, very themed 1960s seating to watch the films, to enjoy a little bit of tipple when you come over. And Pete, I can't believe you haven't been over yet. I know, it's a crime. How often do you get to watch a Bond film? Uh, probably right once every two weeks. Right, okay. Pretty often. I mean, yeah, I yeah, think that's, that's quite that, that is quite often, yeah. Nice. So there's Brosnan's oh, oh. with the Manticore. That's, that's someone special. someone actually did a uh, a beautiful beautiful replica of that in factory entertainments mm. my bungee jump oh, contract yeah. that says i actually did it the one that gave daniel a heart attack exactly but again <laughs> this is like you know the cards from the casino and you know look at the identification oh, he, oh card. he's my favorite that guy yeah <laughs> i mean th that's what i love about like the little things you know, the glass that he was drinking from. When he some sees of this um, now, Paris, yeah. Yeah, now some of this is getting screen used now, some of the accoutrements here. Right. Um, which is kind of cool because now we get into the sort of the modern stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. That's, here, this is right up your alley, the Calvin Klein. Oh. Those are the ski glasses that he wears. Oh, that's special. That's when he's wearing yeah, yeah. that outfit. <laughs> ah. cool disturbing fantastic uh, so a lot of this is screen used from zakovsky and things like that the id is a replica but really well done i mean beautifully beautifully done yeah they look terrific and way hidden here almost as if it's an embarrassment which i apologize for those that love die another day <laughs> right behind these things you've got die another day nestled and there's tons of stuff back here oh that's cool Oh, you got the scorpions back there as well. Yeah, the keys. We got the Zhao's bullet necklace. Uh -huh. um, that's oh, a tire yeah, that's a piece from the Aston Martin. Holly Berry's explosive device. The sonic ring. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and What's then the tie? Here, is, got... that, is, that, um, is that a Brioni tie? Or... No, this is actually um, Q's tie. That's that he yeah, wears. That looks Q tie. Oh, yeah, so that's, is that a Benson a, and Clegg one? That's yeah. in Clegg. Very good. So this is screen used. All right. Okay. I remember that. Yeah. That's, that's a beautiful yeah. a Perla piece. These are screen used. So that's the bad guys. That's a security guard's outfit that explodes. Nice. And that's obviously um, uh, the guy that goes, uh, I kill. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. That's, um, who oh, that? God, who's the guy that plays poker with Bond? Oh, Demetrius. Yeah, that's Demetrius's that's poker Demetrius. suit from the one and only. Wow, that is, inc and that gets a special mention in the DVD commentary as well. And, and by the way, that that is screen used. It has all the tags inside. The whole that's fantastic. Oh wow, yeah. that's terrific. Yeah, I love that. And then we get to the explosion. And by the way, nobody ever gets to see this. Your channel is kind of an exclusive. Wow, where you've got earpieces, you've got cards, you've got phones and weapons and inhalers. Uh -huh. You know, little oh things words. like tickets from Miami and that oh, that is cool. all right. So this is this is kind of exclusive for you. That Le Chief card is something that they didn't use in the movie, but I found that in one of the screen used Le Chief outfits. No way. <laughs> it was in the it was in the it was in the pocket. What is the CX? Is that his um I have no thing? idea. Only only the prop people would know and that's, I certainly don't know. Well that's um, a hidden gem. Literally, you've got them. obviously some of the cufflinks, which is close to your channel, and then its yep. own Sophie Harley dedicated area. Oh yeah, oh that's terrific. Uh, we're back to screen used. Mm -hmm. so that's your um, yeah, that's your your piece de resistance. Yep. And then this outfit right here is Lachie's outfit when he's on the boat, and that is screen used. Nice. That yeah. is so cool. Those trousers look great as well. Really nice and tailored. Yeah, I have a couple there. of his screen used outfits. That is a screen used outfit that Dominic that's Green Dominic wears. Dominic Green, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the one he that's dies his, in. Uh, right? And nobody gets to, gets to see his pants, but he's got these pair of like baby cords that are very right. soft. And then, of course, the shirt. 
This might have to be a double episode, Peter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm in rut. This is fantastic. You got all the accoutrements. And again, you know, quantum, one of my favorite things. So um, not a ton of screen use, but lots of little details. Yeah. You know, her license. And even the, the prop artist put a little crimp in it, like in the movie. Nice. I've got the uh, cases from the film. And by the way, this right here, <laughs> nobody gets to see this. Um, you see that picture of them on the quay in Haiti? Yeah. yeah. This is filled with all screen used items that the bad guys wear. So those that's General Madranos's Guadavera, uh -huh. and that is screen used by the actor. Wow. That look that looked pretty hot out there as well. So I'm sure you've got some of oh, his mask gosh. in there. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's we've got hard. some skyfall pieces, lots. Oh, I don't know, a few. <laughs> yeah. I love this. This is fantastic. And I also really envy how you've managed to put them in films. Like you've managed to have enough space to segregate it in films. I think a lot of people I know that have got bits and bobs or are trying to get a burgeoning Bond collection, it's all kind of a hodgepodge. It's all together. So you're like, you'll have the business cards all together or the stones all together. But to have everything isolated in film by film, I think makes this very special. Well, thank you. And, you know, I, I listen, I consider myself very fortunate for the space that I have. I've had people from New York City and London come in here and go, your collection area is twice as big as my flat. So, <laughs> you know, we, we do happily have the space. We live out in the country. You know, we, we live on a couple of acres. And, you know, because I do have the space, it's, it's really my pleasure to kind of show this off because a lot of people will see, you know, a coat like this, for example, in a closet, yeah. but they may not see it in all its glory surrounded by you know what the costume designers really had in mind and you know specter by the way huh, this jacket's on loan no i'm actually wearing it <laughs> uh, nice. but i mean you know then you get into some crazy oh detail. i want to see that that's the ice pick from the fight it is wow by the way you could buy that off of amazon for like 20 bucks i should know that but that's impressive <laughs> So, you know, what t people tend to do is when they come down to see the collection, I always give them a drink. Um, mm -hmm. If they don't drink, I'll give them something else. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'll, they'll just stand here at one location for like, without exaggerating, 15 minutes. Because I tell people, this is not a museum. You can touch and pick up everything. That's terrific. You know, yeah. it, it's all meant to be played with. I'm not precious about it. Like mm -hmm. everybody... Quite frankly, everybody comes down here, they want to try on one thing. Yeah. They want to try on the Armani jacket and get yeah. a picture with it. Mm -hmm. So I get them a picture. And as long as they're not, you know, of a size that's going to break the seams, they can try it on. And I think that's something I've learned from you over time. But that I remember it started um, way back when you remember when you came over for the Casino Royale secret cinema. And I think they they shipped or you shipped. A, your skyfall tux and it got lost in the post do you remember yes. that i remember yes. I, think, I remember saying to you mate you must be crushed you know i was sending condolence letters and you're like <laughs> but you were like it's life you can't you can't cry over these things it's it's closed at the end of so the this, day this is a closet that i just opened up this is one of my storage closets so this is where like the summer wow. clothing goes i see um all, all the extra all of our brown pieces the doubles the triples i have this rack is mostly screen used items that i just don't have room to display wow. like this is one of the henchmen's from uh quantum <laughs> this is uh the from casino royale the big guy that goes i'll have one as well um, <laughs> oh that uh, guy I'll, i've got a story about that guy i'll tell you later this is the mr white cutting room floor yeah, scene. yeah. that's the um, one that you somewhere on. i oh yeah this is mr white's Screen used jacket from Casino Royale when he's on the ground after Bond shoots him. Wow. Has it got any yeah. um, like knee marks or anything like that? In it? Well, not on the jacket. Oh, sorry, just the jacket. I guess it's it's abrased. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of screen used stuff here. Um, more summer things, many more wow. items. That's uh, that's like all like Royal Filmware review stuff. Huh. And then over here, oh, by the way. Let's say you have to take a wee because I've given you too much alcohol. Sure, sure. Even even the hello, <laughs> even the, even the bathroom is all done as yeah, James yeah. Bond with some screen used items on the wall. So when you're 
you're oh, doing that's a poo. fantastic yeah i'd i'd be in there for quite a while you're probably like what's he doing in there Oh, we've had some people absolutely destroy that bathroom, unfortunately. <laughs> Too much information. And then I always put the newest movie here. So right. obviously the newest movie being No Time to Die. Mm. And just a few million things. These other masks. Oh, fantastic. So this has like a lot of promotional items. Oh, you got the Bollinger thing from the from the bar. Down in Burlington, yeah, Arcadia. they they actually sent me a whole kit of those. Oh, which that's is good. Really nice of them. Do you know what I should have but, done? I should have just took the coasters because everyone else did. <laughs> By the time I know, came I back with that, that idea, yeah, <laughs> there it is. Nice. <laughs> yeah, they were great. They sent me a set and um, really appreciative. And then I think it was Omega had put out an, um, one of their. So Omega sends Christmas gifts out every year, and I think one of their Christmas gifts was the 007 Bollinger. Uh, with some mm. Omega stuff is really nice. That's special. Really cool. What are those uh, snow things in the background? They look like snow paddles or snowshoes. So those weren't actually seen in No Time to Die, but originally those were going to be the crampons that um, Safin uses when he's walking towards right. Matilda's hut. Ah, I see. So <laughs> that's... Uh, here, let me turn this around so you see my ugly face. Hello. Lovely. Let me let me get my grill back in view for, for a second here. Well, so David, you thank you. Well, listen, I mean, I'm not surprised, but it's always so good to see everything laid out. And it's also, it's not just a museum. I mean, you probably don't even want to call it a museum. It just feels like a very workable space. Like you can... Yeah pick stuff up like you say you're not you're not overly precious about it you obviously want people to treat it with respect but i don't think anyone that can that's going to come to your home and come down into your your basement there is going to start throwing things around anyway do you know what i mean but uh i love the idea that people can just interact with it and just spend a lot of time in each station and uh and you've got like so many memories of each piece i guess as well it's like either you've got it from a location or you've got a memory of wearing it to a certain event uh so yeah no um yeah that was a real that's treat. a great Thanks. point the storytelling properties and the memories mean so much more to me than the items themselves. Like if, you know, God forbid something happens to one of the items, um, it's, it's really how it was acquired and who are the people I met and connected with and the research that went in there. That's the most special thing. So, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nice collection of memories as opposed to items. Yeah. I did have a question about yes. feel free to give it a pass. Is there anything in the collection that you have but you perhaps want to keep it under wraps because you don't want the powers that be knowing about it and maybe asking it back no uh, you know something because if there if there are items that are offered to me like that i i i pass on them right quite frankly because i don't want anything that's uh you know i, I try to keep a I'll, I'll say a healthy neutral relationship with the powers that be so i wouldn't want anything that's untoward you know, anything that's been nipped um, or something that I've got to quote unquote hide. So I'm, I'm, yeah, that's just, that wouldn't be fun. It wouldn't be fun. And I, the fun part is really showing the world, as you can see, I mean, I'm a very public figure now. So being able to show the world is, is half the fun of this. Yeah. That's a good, uh, that's a good way of framing it because I, I was, given something to me once way back in the day by a costume oh. designer. It's not, it's not bond related, but it is, um, it's film related and i said to the costume designer i said wow you know i can't believe you sent this to me i'm i'm very flattered i'm you know you know can i tell anyone and she goes god no this is for you i was like ah okay yeah. <laughs> i can honestly and say i, I think of, I, there's not I, a lot you can do with it yeah and i respect that i truly do but anything that i have out um clearly you know this is something that people are going to be here i tell everyone which they're kind of shocked um even strangers that come over uh, you can take pictures of anything you want, hmm. anything you want. I mean, there's a couple little pieces here and there that the prop makers don't want too much, too much imagery of it. So it's not replicated, but outside of that, it's fair game. Nice. And I remember I asked you this once before, but is there any end game for you and your collection? Do you see it like in 10 years, maybe going on the road, like a diesel land or something like that? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, death. <laughs> my own death, death land. Um, in, in, in a very <laughs> traumatic and violent way filled mm. with color sound and brightness is really my end game no um i'm sorry that's my wife's wish 
I, I would say that, um, no, I don't have an end game. I, this is going to sound very strange, but maybe not to you. Every day when I work out or I walk around the basement or I take business phone calls and I walk around here, you know, when I'm taking phone calls, I appreciate my collection. So I think if it was on the road or mm. away from me, I would miss it. You yeah. know, I put a lot of time into it. Um, my end game is just to enjoy other people's collections, no matter how big, no matter how small, like the bond in motion in DC, I think it's going to be fascinating to look at. So no end game with the collection other than it'll never stop. Amazing. Just, yeah. <laughs> well, I hope so. Um, but David, thanks for walking us around a real treat Thank to see you. all You've the stuff. You've got to come here live. You've got to come here live. I'm coming. I'm coming. Pennsylvania, baby. It's, uh, it's on my to-do list. What's on your to-do list, actually, David, in terms of trips? I know we've got Goldfinger coming up. There's uh, the Thailand trip that the On the Tracks boys are doing. Have you got anything lined up? Yeah, well, um, Danielle and I are going to Spain uh, at the beginning of February. We're going to Rock of Gibraltar and Cadiz and that whole area and, you know, drink some mojitas and learn to like it and things like that. <laughs> um, but we've got a bunch of things. We're going to south of France. Um, we're going to uh, Vienna. There's there's like a whole list of different places that we're going to be heading to this year. Not all Bond related, but somewhat. Yeah. Also, well, listen. Uh, yeah, I guess with the whole Bond related stuff on the on the travels, I know Martin um, Martin Mulder has started to go to places now and almost get away from Bond locations. I can't remember where he went last year, but I said, "Oh, uh, did you go to the location?" He goes, "No." No interest. He feels like he really just wants a holiday from now on. Are you are you sliding towards that mindset, or are you just oh one hundred percent? Yeah, Spain is a holiday. It's very very few Bond moments, and there's sort of a a couple's agreement to that. Like, hey, this isn't a Bond trip. This is some other kind of trip. You know how it is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, look, I'm sure there'll be footage anyway, so I look forward to seeing that. David, the Bond experience. Thanks. Oh. Uh, thanks for walking us around. Um, well, the latest videos that I've, I've been watching are the New Orleans ones, which was great. And I've got to catch up on a few that I've missed over Christmas. But the podcast as well that you can tune into if you want to get into some philosophy of Bond, which I really enjoy, and the Thank fitness you. routines and uh, just general general life hacks, which I, I really, really dig. But in the meantime, take care of yourself. Cheers, and, uh, my friend. <laughs> see you on the next one. <laughs>